Hello everyone and welcome to yet another 2 Minute Tuesday. Today I have a tip for the app for Outlook and something that a lot of people think is super inflexible, but it's not. So here's the app for Outlook. It looks pretty much the same anywhere. I'm here using Outlook Web Access, but when I go to Dynamics 365, I get kind of a, a, a quick you know, information about this particular record. Right now it's not tracked. You can see it's not set regarding anything and the recipient is Gus. So we get that. And then if I go into the plus sign, I can see kind of the entities that I can and create out of the box. But what happens if you're not using these entities? What happens if you're not using competitors or knowledge articles or leads? Or maybe you're using them, but you don't want people to just create them from the app for Outlook. You want this to be a lot cleaner. And perhaps you even created a custom entity and you want that custom entity to be on the list. You want people to be able to create it from the app for Outlook. And well, it's not showing up. So what do you do? Well, that's today's tip. So I'm going to navigate into the advanced settings section of Dynamics 365 and I'm going to go into the customizations. But before we do any changes, let's start the countdown and let's go. So what I did in this case is I have a custom entity. I create a custom entity called warranty. So I'm going to navigate all the way down. You can see it's a custom entity there. It allows us to keep track of warranties. We sell devices. We, you know, people register the devices and we're able to keep, you know, track of those. So here the trick is I'm going to navigate to the model driven applications. And here's one thing that most people don't know. The app for Outlook is actually a model driven application. Super simple. So now look, I double click to open it. It opens in the app designer and I have all the entities that are available for me to create. So let's just say we don't want competitors. I'm going to click on competitor. I'm going to remove that. Uh, let's say I also don't want knowledge article. Let's just say so I'm going to remove that, but I do want the warranty. So I'm going to click on add. I'm going to go to entities and then I'm going to select warranty, which obviously due to the name is going to be close to the bottom. So I'm going to scroll down all the way here. Let's see. Where is it? Warranty, warranty, warranty. There it is. So I'm going to click on warranty, right? And I'm going to save it and then publish it. And that's it. So now let's go back to app for Outlook to my Outlook right here. Let me hit F5 to refresh. And I'm going to go into the ellipsis button or my meatball menu here, Dynamics 365, just like we did before. Click on plus and boom, there you have it. Warranty is now an option. Competitor and knowledge article is gone. Now, I do want to say that in order for that custom entity to be available as an option, it must be enabled to use activities. So let me show you what that looks like just as a final step. So I'm going to go back to my solution right here. I'm going to go into the warranty entity that I created and here you can see that activities has been enabled on the entity. That's all you have to do. You have to make sure that activities is selected and then add it into the model driven application and voila, you get the option to add custom entities from the app for Outlook. I hope you enjoyed the tip this week and we'll see you next week.